Time for another day of thrifting. I'm at the Value Village near my house. Uh, I haven't been here in a while, and when I have been here, there's been literally nothing. I don't know if it's a product of the summer, or people just aren't donating right now, or I'm just not coming at the right times, uh, but this one's been bad, and when it has been good, everything's been super overpriced, so I'm uh, hoping that today I'm gonna actually be able to find some cool stuff, and I'm not leaving here until I find something cool. So I could be here for an hour. This thrift video could be five minutes, or it could be 50, until I find something worthy of shooting a video on. So let's go do this. Here we go, let's creep in the windows and check the Stephen King section. Mm, I see my least favorite Stephen King book ever, Billy Summers. Talk about a slow build. Let's go in here and get lucky. I'm not grabbing a cart because there's been nothing good here recently, but I already see something cool. Look right there. Right there, you see it? Fisher Price Castle. So I already had to come this way to see how crazy overpriced it is. Whoa. I'm gonna guess and say 25 bucks. Oh, it's only $10. That's not bad. I'm not gonna get it, but it's a pretty good deal. If you've been watching the channel, you know I already found one a couple weeks ago. It's from How to Train Your Dragon. It's always a good start, but not what I need. Is that Playmobil? Spelling school? <laughs> Maybe a little blackjack game. What else? Ooh, don't, don't, don't. Does it work? It's actually pretty good for $2.99. It's a maybe. Quiver the Big Red Dog book. Let's see if there's I might go back and get that light. I'm on the fence about it. It's usually good stuff in here. Penguin. You have to dig. Looks like a Santa Claus cowboy. Sunny bunnies. What's that from? Lots of dolls. Lots of dolls. Newer Polly Pocket. figures though. Oh, some woodsy houses. This is a Barbie toy, isn't it? Hasbro. That's kind of cool. Hasbro. Wait, I'm going to have to do some research on this. It might be Jam. But I'm going to get it. So this is actually a Hasbro Too Cool Maxi shower, so it's pretty neat. The old school Barbie Barbie. Kodak Max, oh my god. It's so sun damaged. That's it. Look at that, that's what the color it's supposed to be. What year is it from? Like literally nothing in the thrift bags, except for one troll doll at $4.99. The rest is all, oh, there's two troll dolls, Never mind. But they are like gungy, they're not in good shape. So I'm gonna pass on those, see if they can't find anything else, because right now I only got that. I'm not gonna get that uh, cruise ship. It's too sun damaged for me, but still a really cool find. And twelve ninety nine. It has a three ninety nine sticker on it and a twelve ninety nine sticker. <laughs> oh my god, Mister Bucket. When is this from? Is there anything cool here? There's a giant aquarium there. Oh, 
flame is humongous. Have to check that out. It's only $39.99. It's a good deal on an aquarium. Over to the display and see what they have here. So far, I only got the maxi locker. But we'll see. Maybe they got something cool. What's down here? Is that a miniature Gumby? Oh my god, that's so cool. I might have to get that. There's a bunch of little mini toys there. You know if Paige was with me, she'd be all about it. What are those games? Some Nintendo games? Zoom out. There's some uh, dollhouse, doll clothes. Camera staff, please. Security camera staff. Mm. A little bit too much on that stuff, though. That's gonna be here for a while. Wow, an oldie. Four ninety nine. Is that the pieces? Comes with all these little goodies, although there's not a lot of actual fisher bait. That's cool. What's this? What's this? Oh, it's a little tiny slot machine, but it's broken. Peyton would have lost her mind. How about that? <laughs> hey, what's going on? Sometimes there's Pokemon stuff here, but. Not today. We're gonna go check the DVDs and books, see if there's anything there. I've seen some cool stuff, I just haven't really bought anything cool. Which is kind of a bummer. Some good uh, albums here. Lionel Richie. Madonna. Millie Vanilli, oh my god. I gotta get that, just cause. That's just so ridiculous that I have to get it. <clears throat> this one looks like it has the good stuff. Mm, nothing else, really. Once you get to the back, you know they're gonna be picked over. Okay, so I have two things. No, good king. Looks like the one I did see in the in the window is gone already. Somebody grabbed Billy Summers. Yikes. Let's see what's here. Any cool Christmas stuff? Mm, not really. Not a lot. This is like the kind of stuff where I find cool stuff. That's a McDonald's toy from back in the day. Rummy, an old school Rummy set, Joe Sackick, Colorado Avalanche figures, super creepy stuffed animal. This is actually amazing, if I could get it working. How much is this? 30 bucks, sheesh. That's really, really, really cool though. A little bit outside my price range for something of that. But... So we didn't get that popple because it's missing its tail. Looks like it got ripped off. It's kind of a bummer. That's been in the showcase for like a month. And now it's finally on the floor because it was a bit overpriced for a bit. Especially if it doesn't have its tail. Oh my god. This is absolute nostalgia right here. These rubber grapes, I gotta get them, just cause. <laughs> Don't ask why. You need a Hannah Montana iPod dock. That's pretty cool right there. Any cool Tupperware stuff? 
cookie monster bowl there. What is this? It's for your ketchup, mustard, and relish, maybe? <laughs> That's awesome. So here's what we got. Such a random bag of stuff. Canadian followers will know what these are for. I find the most random stuff thrifting. I don't even know, like, thinking I was going to go in there to find something super cool. Now, I did see super cool things. I saw that Barbie cruise ship. Uh, I saw the Fisher-Price Castle. I saw a couple troll dolls. But the things I ended up buying, a Millie Vanilli record, just because, you know, nostalgia purposes. Uh, the grapes from back in the day, I had to get them. One, my kids will go crazy because they love play food, and those things are, like, real deal play food. And uh, what was the other thing? That maxi doll locker which is kind of cool i don't know much about it but i'm sure my kids will want to play with it at some point so it was worth going in there it was only 18 bucks so i'm pretty happy